What is going on, guys? Wiser here, coming to you with the recap of one of the most recent wars for Invicta. Uh, it was a random matchup against the big time war whales themselves. Uh, so now this marks, uh, in a matter of I think maybe a week, week and a half tops, uh, Invicta has now faced 1.0 WHF and now war whales. So it was a trying, uh, trying week for Invicta, uh, to say the least. Uh, let's hop on over. 8381 war whales took away the victory. So awesome job, war whales. You guys are uh, beasts over there. Always a pleasure to match up with you guys. Uh, but really nice to see that Invicta really held on and had some awesome successes within this war because the town hall breakdown, we did have one extra town hall 11. Um, but it was kind of evened out because they had eight Town Hall 10s with Infernos, um, all the way down to their number 10 here. And we only had five Town Hall 8s, or sorry, ugh, <laughs> Town Hall 10s, uh, with a Town Hall 9.5. Uh, Death Hopper there is a 9.5. Uh, we had one, two, three, four, and five Town Hall 10s. So they technically had three extra Town Hall 10s. Um, so I don't know how you want to look at that. It, it kind of has its its benefits right obviously the town hall 11 is a very important important piece of your wars however having an extra six inferno towers uh and an extra four uh attacks at the town hall 10 level it, it's, it's pretty even i don't really care uh is what it is uh some really nice stuff in here and actually uh those specific attacks if we look both sides had to use a fair amount of bullies the nines did not not shine for either side i would say um Look at this real quickly. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, well, I guess. Seven plus the 9.5 um, for bullies for war whales. And if you hop on over, uh, Victor did a pretty good job, right? Two's on everything up there. We had the one Town Hall 10 triple uh, bully, I guess, by our extra town hall 10 so that's kind of, or town hall 11 i should say um and that's kind of where the town hall 11 extra advantage really helps you because you do get that but um just couldn't come come through on the top basis so is what it is but if you check it out i think we had to use at least da, 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 let's go through this really fast there's one two three four five so we had to use five bullies um but the fact that we forced war whales to use that many bullies like that is a big success guys town hall nine is back on those defenses and if you can really start forcing your opponent to use bully attacks like that it's going to leave you at a better advantage up top unfortunately we just had those extra town you know those six extra inferno towers we had to take care of um town hall 11s didn't quite uh, you know, we had, first of all, we had to use our Town Hall 11s on one and two, which kind of sucks. We don't like doing that. We really like to try and give uh, Town Hall 10 the chance to get those two stars because then you can use those 11s down on the 10s and hopefully get the three stars on them. Um, doesn't always happen, obviously. It's easier said than done. Uh, we did come away with one, though, but uh, two star victory for War Whale. So, uh, congrats, guys. Let's just hop right in. I got a lot of replays I want to show down to the bottom of the map. Number 30. Yes, Heartless. Love this guy. This is our Penta Master. Um, the Penta does still exist, guys, and this is the scenario where you can use it. Let's drop a couple archers and pull out the CC, do a quick poisoning, drop my king. Now, I would have pushed this poison back. I was looking at this. I would have pushed it back so it got that queen because he almost loses his king here i mean this queen would have stepped up and finished the job i think anyways but no big deal a few wall breakers in but see if that poison was down on that queen she would be really slow right now would have only got a couple shots off on the king probably could have delayed that ability a little bit but no big deal right queen's dead cc's dead that is the key to the penta if you can do that using only your heroes and a few archers and a few wall breakers then you're looking really good because now you got five lava hounds going in with a crap ton of balloons so a couple in on that first rd another one in on that next rd uh they do get ripped up very very quickly um might have wanted to send another one right away at this point before those balloons but no big deal has got the other one shifting over the other one in air defense number two is down moving up to the air defense number three 
Sends in his last Lava Hound now. Bunch of balloons. Couple haste moving in. Like these balloons kind of slowly moving through the core. Really just nothing, nothing to worry about. The queen steps up and does tanking on these wizard towers. Fortunately, that Tesla pops. So gives these balloons a little bit of trouble. Knocks them down before they get there. But the queen hits the ability. Steps up. Takes out both wizard towers and that Tesla, which is also key. Because once all these balloons got over to that little trap, it wouldn't have been pretty. So everything is working out perfectly. Rage down. Cannon is down. There's pops all over the base. Peace out and GG to this guy. A good old fashioned Penta. Love it. It's tree in the bag for Heartless. <clears throat> Definitely showing a few of these bottoms with a really nice tack. Let's go a little saddy going in here. Uh, it's going to bring, I believe from about the 3 o'clock here, brings a, a Queen Walk. Um, it's just going to take care of basically the 3 o'clock to the 6 o'clock section via this walk. Um, send out, uh, Take out the CC and pull it over to her. Once all of that is taken care of, he's going to send in just a standard issue. Bunch of Valks with a golem. Jump and jump. Um, nice clean jumps into these, these compartments, right? So essentially he's going to come in from like 8 o'clock right here. Just go right up here. Nice clean jump into this compartment. Nice clean jump over into the into the heroes. And then when you take a look at that, there's not much left for these, uh, you know, ten hogs or eleven hogs to deal with. So <clears throat> things are moving along. Out comes the lava hound from the CC. I definitely am not a fan of lava hounds in the CCs anymore. Um, they do hold hold up the queen the longest because it takes her the most shots to deal with. Um, the poison kind of helps out. I think it saves maybe a couple shots on the Lava Hound in the end. But probably want to save it for the pups a little bit. And you're going to see why, because you can't really judge where the pups are going to burst. So um, as you can see, the, the 9 o'clock entry is going just perfectly. Funnel's created. and goes those Valks. Nice clean jump's going to happen. Uh, but see what I mean? These pups on the back end, if you had a poison, the queen actually misses one. And the pup, I believe, gets this healer. Maybe not quite. Oh, he does get the healer. So a pup killed a healer. Like that's a pretty important thing, right? If you only brought three healers, uh, it's tough. Tough call, right? And it's all about diversity. So having a couple hounds in your CC, don't get me wrong, is a very good idea. I just, I'm not a fan of it on my bases. I don't design my bases around having a hound. Anyhow, so Valks are in now to that queen chamber. Queen is dead. This queen chamber is just going to get ripped up. Still has not even deployed these 11 hogs, right? Queen is now going to step up into this section. Still has a raid spell for her. Uh, is about to drop it, I believe. Any second. There it goes. So she's going to get big value, get two wizard towers, three Teslas out of the deal. And these hogs are basically a moot point. They go into the, to help the Valks out, help the king. They're going to jump in here now, take care of that expo, take care of that Tesla. Queen is stepping up to help out, hits that ability on the king, just needs to basically clean up these last couple compartments. <clears throat> Down goes the Tesla one and Tesla two. See you later. Beautiful. Smashy, smashy. Down goes the CC. A couple army camps. And that's tree in the bag for Sadie. Nice job, buddy. Really good value out of that walk charge. Walk then charge, we'll say. All right. Uh, 28. 30, 29, 28. So this is Niguana, uh, one of the newer members of Invicta, has been really tearing it up, uh, really asserting himself as one of the bottom beasts that I love to call my buddies in Invicta, because these guys that are down on the bottom of the map for Town Hall 9 Invicta, they just rip things up, right? Only level 20 king, level 25 queen, so that helps a little bit. Uh, so pretty much standard issue, queen walk, uh, Govaho here. The idea here is to basically take care of this large compartment. Not going to get the expo, but going to get the cannon on the way. Continue her way down. Get that little whiz tower farm out of the way. Uh, I believe then pull out the CC to her. There goes that rage kind of helping her rip through that town hall. <clears throat> rip through that cannon. She's going to continue her way along the path. Da -da -da. Times two this. So down goes that wizard tower farm. Continue her way along and going to close off this walk now with this cold blooded golem funnel on the right side created. Easy, easy funnel on the army camps on the other side. Opens up the wall nice and clean. <clears throat> sends in the king, sends in his Valks. Only five Valks here, or six Valks, my bad. Was it, was it six Valks? Excuse me, jeez. Anyhow, jump spell goes down. 
Queen's now in there. Healers kind of reroute onto that golem, so that's sort of good, I guess. Um, would have been nice to stay on the queen, but keeping that golem up, right? It's going to do tanking. Uh, Valkyries do get out ahead, so they're uh, they're taking some damage. Hits the ability on the king, right? The hound bursts, uh, but see that poison go down. It's going to take care of some of those pups, help things out. Queen's going to take off, take care of those Teslas, and then step up, finish off those pups. Oh, Poison takes care of the job before she even gets there. My bad. So she's going to step up, take care of the Sweeper, take care of the Expo. Hogs are now in from the 6 o'clock. These very, very, very skinny chambers. No worries of uh, spring traps. No worries of anything. <clears throat> this goes right at the Queen Chamber once the Queen goes down. Just has so many hogs available. Uh, one thing I liked about this plan, it was... Usually, usually you'll go at the Queen Chamber, make sure the Queen dies. But if you come from a long distance and then barely get the queen not barely get the queen but eventually get to the queen in the raid you really hold off on your hogs and you can start sprinkling in hogs right at the queen chamber and you don't lose a lot because a lot of guys will not put traps there they won't put bombs the very few spring traps around a queen chamber um you know so really good choice on uh, on your attack here in iguana welcome to invicta my friend that's tree in the bag for you Right on, right on. Moving up. Paragon Hunter with a sexy six-pack. Paragon's also a fairly new member to Invicta and has just been a monster. Six-pack after six-pack for this guy. Very cool base here. I kind of like this. Um, my only concern would be this section here is easily jumpable. Um, you know, it, you, you got a lot of options because that lets you raid into the core. I mean, if you think about it and you get into this large compartment... You could technically just jump here into this compartment and then jump right over to the queen. So I wasn't a huge fan of that about this base. I would have kicked this wall back just just so you can't jump from basically this arc around the queen into the queen chamber. Anyhow, is what it is. Pulls out that CC. Drops the Valks immediately with a heal and a poison to take care of the enemy, uh, enemy Valks. Drops the queen right behind. Heal spell goes down. One healer, yes, he brings one healer to this raid. I thought that was kind of funny. Um, and a crap ton of Valks. Like, uh, I think he's got, you know, 10 Valks he brought of his own, plus a CC full of Valks. No Golem, uh, no nothing for this raid. Just pure Valks, and we're just going to shred. Now, I thought that would, this, part of the reason why I want to show this raid, nothing took that jump. One Valkyrie, I think, maybe two Valkyries took that jump and get smacked down by the king immediately. Um, so this raid isn't going as he had hoped, right? Heal spell goes down, kind of takes care of them. Everything goes up to this 12 o'clock chamber. He's got every single one of his Valks pretty much up there. And they're now going to stand on walls and take care of the trash. So he needs to figure out what's going to happen here because he still has not uh, dealt with this enemy queen. Has hogs that moved in already. They're going to start getting picked off by this queen just one by one. Like these hogs are toast immediately. Look how quickly they all die. Still has six hogs in the bag though. So he's going to send them down at the six o'clock location. Nice and patient. Did not drop the second drop. And immediately when the Valks make their way around the queen chamber, jumps into them, poisons the queen, takes down the queen, right in time as these hogs are going to start working their way up to the last few defenses. Even has a, even has a hog. He drops on that archer tower while the Valks are in there doing tanking. So all defenses are now down. It's cleanup time for Paragon very sexy hit nice patience my friend i know uh know this raid did not go to plan so really nice to see your on the fly adjustments here mm. all right go way up look up way up someone can tell me what that is from in the comments i'll give you a bonus star <clears throat> and what I mean by that is look up way up. It was a show. I, I'm a little bit older than probably a lot of the viewers. Um, but that was a show from my childhood. That's your only hint. Anyhow, <clears throat> so this nice little uh, avalanche attack, right? Going in from the 6 o'clock spot. So just very, very patient. Drops two golems um, or even three golems. Yeah, three golems. Wizards in behind, just going to slowly start feeding everything. Got to take out the six clock compartment. Going to jump on over, start this kind of clockwise, or sorry, counterclockwise rotation. The key to this is he does not connect that wall. If he connected that wall, the golems would start splitting and going all over. So just really nice control on that. Sends in golem numbers uh, four and five here. Just doing tanking, gets those wizards put down immediately. Starts taking out that trash. Really wants the wizards to step up. Everything's kind of um, 
stopped on this uh, CC golem, but no big deal. Wizard and the Queen are slowly taking it down. Still has that golem in there doing tanking. Wizard, uh, Queen's now going to step up, start taking care of all this stuff. With the help of a couple wizards too, so really making her go very, very quickly. <clears throat> Drops a wizard down here to make sure that archer tower goes down. As soon as that archer tower goes down, a golem's going to move up. Now jump spell moves up, connects everything up now to that next. He's going to drop another jump spell over the queen chamber here. Brings four hogs only, which I thought that was really cool. And the four hogs have a specific purpose for these two archer towers. As the golems are kind of continuing their circle, he's going to drop the hogs in while the... Uh, to, while the, the golems are doing the tanking and just basically get two for one trades on two hogs and one defense and they continue to move down and help out the golems finish things off as well so queen's in there for uh taking damage from the expo which kind of sucks because that bomb and the expo are gonna finish her off so down she goes but it doesn't matter he's got this go the golemites and this other golem in there still king's moving in as well these four hogs i was just talking about moving in taking care of this cannon they're gonna jump in and help finish off these last few defenses the last jump spell is down drops cleanup wizards on the outside they're just doing work on all of this trash has so many small units in there just doing work all all over the map so definitely treat in the bag here <clears throat> nice job derp derp a do all right one more to show you here good old tritosh tritosh is just been a monster for us getting at least a, at least a three star per war if not a six pack every war <clears throat> so goes ahead and just drops these funneling units a uh, nice little uh, minion down here getting um, a free building basically queen's gonna go down now what i liked about this one healers go down and it's gonna drop a nice nice quick poison on the, the defensive queen so this is a level 28 queen versus a level 30 queen but under that poison as long as you get it down before she starts shooting you're gonna watch this 30 you know 28 queen is no problem taking down a poisoned level 30 queen without having to hit the ability now the only unfortunate thing here is as soon as she steps up after this elixir storage takes three point defense to the face and has to hit the ability anyway so no big deal right it's good good to make sure you hit that ability and keep her alive um as opposed to obviously her dying because if she dies that's it right you got her value those healers are probably going to die trying to make their way over to the golem or whatever you drop next but uh, really 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 need to make sure your queen survives so she is now going to continue her way down take out this stuff take out those cannons even continues down and ends up meeting up pretty much with the kill squad uh so sends in the kill squad from the uh six o'clock location here wall breakers are going in opens up that wall dropping his valkyries down golem's going to work its way into the base king goes to King goes down with the rest of the Valkyries. Six o'clock spot is now taken care of. Poison goes down, taking care of the CC troops. Heal spell just to make sure that those uh, enemy Valkyries really don't do that much damage. <clears throat> All the Valks just immediately take down the enemy Valkyries. Jump right into the Tesla core there. Huge value on all these buildings because they're all touching. So the Valks are just shredding through all of this. See what I mean? Queen and the Wizard finish off that expo. Queen's going to start working on this wall over here, unfortunately. It would have been real nice if she went around and took that jump spell. But no big deal. Hogs are now coming in on this archer tower a few um basically dropped i think like eight hogs maybe on this compartment not a lot of worry here drops the heal spell immediately gonna push these hogs right on through those wizard towers and teslas onto that expo king is in there doing work doing some tanking as well still has a wizard alive helping out those valkyries valks working on the walls queen finally gets in there starts working on yes another wall <laughs> so gotta love when that happens but he's just got too many hogs everything now meeting up around this two o'clock location right if you look at the way this the, he broke down this base queen was taking care of basically the uh, 11 o'clock through the nine o'clock and beyond section sends in the uh, kill squad from the six o'clock to take out the six o'clock to the core section and then the hogs from nine up until two right just kind of broke down the base in all sections everything ended up meeting up at the end and it's three stars in the bag for tritosh nice job buddy <clears throat> so overall uh really good effort invicta uh had some a lot of really good successes uh it was a really fun war uh like getting these tough matchups because it really really um shows us where we're at and uh, shows us what we need to work on right uh, i think if we had you know maybe if death hopper had infernos um might have helped a little bit because of the amount of bullies they had to use um again it's really tough to say you're kind of just guessing uh 
on things. But is what it is. Really nice, Ward. Thanks a lot, War Whales. Uh, always a pleasure matching you guys. So uh, Invicta, keep rocking it. Really good job. Really good base building. Uh, love to see it. Um, just, just it's amazing, you know, to see the successes some of our guys are having um, based on our base. You know, a huge piece, I should say of credit has to go to the base building team in the 2.0 family, you know, Caddick and his guys over there really pump out bases. And not only that, you know, I always believe in the, uh, that statement, um, you give a person a fish, right? They'll eat for a day, but you teach a person a fish and they'll eat for the rest of their lives. And that's what's going on here. We are teaching, not just building for people. Uh, these guys are basically all of their own bases in this war and it really showed, uh, some successes. So anyhow, I'm going to call an afternoon. Got to go get ready for work. Unfortunately, it sucks Saturday night for me. Then we have an arranged matchup with 2.0, uh, tonight. Um, I will give you guys a little more details on that as it uh, as it pans out, but gonna rock out a cleanup episode for this war as well. There's a really good one I wanted to show on. Uh, I believe what base was it? 24 with three attacks on 24, and they're basically all the same attack, just very slight adjustments on it. So definitely want to rock that one out. I'll probably do that one tonight uh, in between my attacks. Anyhow, guys, that'll do it here for your wisdom from Wiser. Just trying to help the bag that next tree star. Until then, I'm out. <laughs>